Hey, Snackers, this is Kareem Iskander. Hey, everyone, Matt DiNapoli here. Welcome to episode 162 of Snack Minute. In this episode, we got our good friend Joe Clark back, and he's going to be talking to us about something really exciting, a tool that you're probably relatively familiar with, but uh, free version. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah, Joe, uh, for the new Snackers, if you wouldn't mind introducing yourself, and then we'll jump right into it. There, hi, I'm Joe Clark, coming at you live from the Dublin Convention Center, uh, in preparation for the IETF 121 meeting. Um, I'm a distinguished engineer in the learning at Cisco Group at Cisco, and among other things, I work with our Cisco Modeling Labs team, which is what we are going to talk to you about today. Yeah, I know, Joe. Our uh, our learners and community are super excited about this uh, this release. Uh, I know I am excited about it. Um, tell us a little bit about uh, what's in the free version and when is it getting released, or can I get it today? Just give us some some information around it. So CML 2.8 is the release. It's coming out um, right now, today. That release comes with a number of exciting features, one of which is we're now offering it for free, um, a free tier. And what that means is anyone can download it. You won't uh, need a license. You can certainly uh, apply one. And the free tier will allow you to run up to five nodes at one time. And a node could be a virtual router, a virtual switch, virtual firewall, or one of the Linux host nodes. We will ship this with IOL, so iOS on Linux, a router, a uh, layer, layer three router, obviously, an IOL switch, which is a layer two or layer three switch, an ASA firewall, uh, and then a number of the free Linux, Ubuntu, Alpine, uh, Linux releases. And then you can, if you wanted to move up to personal, and that still will give you 20 plus the five, and personal plus will give you 40 plus those, those free five minutes. This is this is pretty great because um, everything that you just mentioned should be enough to get you started with your CCNA, exactly. with your dev associate. If you need if you need some hardware, some hardware that <laughs> you can play with, this is actually comes in really, really handy. Well, and on the automation side, I mean, even even being able to do five nodes, that's sufficient in understanding how um, you can interact with the RESTConf and NetConf interfaces with the with the switches and routers um, and understanding how the connectivity happens and being able even to automate small, you know, small networks that resemble larger networks. This is really exciting. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> Kareem, you hit the point with the CCNA. Now, Matt, um, I'm with you on that. However, unfortunately, IOL doesn't do the RESTConf and NetConf, but you could oh. automate Ansible. Um, you could okay. uh, see how EEM works, uh, Embedded Event Manager works on the devices, test SNMP, do Terraform uh, with the devices. Uh, but unfortunately, the NetConf and RESTConf aren't there on those nodes yet. Um, okay. That said, if you, if you do have access, um, through some other contractual means to get, like, say, a Catalyst <laughs> 8000 virtual. Uh, we don't limit the types of nodes you can run. So if you do otherwise have access to these other nodes, you'll be able to bring them in and run them in CML, but you'll only be able to run a maximum of five at a time. Gotcha. Okay, that makes sense. So some automation, but not the deep baseline automation. Got it. Some automation. Joe, is, are there any new features that are part of the the free tier? Uh, well, the free tier will include the other features that, that will come with 2.8, um, some of the personal theme features. Uh, so there's one enterprise feature I'll talk about. So we're shipping uh, the next-gen firewall, the firepower images by default. While, the, while those won't be shipped with free tier, personal and enterprise users, educational users will have access. Free tier users will be able to take advantage of being able to set custom MAC addresses um, that can be kind of useful for, for certain use cases. But the biggest, coolest feature I think that everyone has access to is this thing we call smart annotations. And the idea there is you can tag nodes. Let's say you have a, a BGP or let's say CCNA, OSPF topology, and you want to say these nodes are participating in OSPF area zero, these are in OSPF area one, it'll automatically draw annotations around them so you can see graphically with color, oh, those that's my area zero, and that's my area one. Uh, and as you, you tag and untag nodes, the annotations will change. As you move the nodes around, the annotations will grow and shrink uh, to match what you have on your topology. 
Yeah, that that's very cool. Um, <laughs> you know, it's great because um, what are we around ten years now that since the the precursor to CML came out viral, viral. Um, oh, yeah, I've, and yeah. Do you remember about, the needles, it, Matt? I do remember the needle Those needles. Were fun. <laughs> um, and so it's been fun to watch the evolution of CML on the DevNet side. It is. Um, our most popular sandbox by far. Um, it's really something that we leverage pretty heavily with our labs and with our community. And to hear that not just progressing incrementally, but in such large ways and bringing new devices in for uh, supporting a, a lot of the different Cisco architectures. Absolutely. It helps us tell the story of multi-domain architectures and being able to tap into security and, and networking at the same time. Um, and then to hear that people have an entry point without having to pull up their credit card yet, <laughs> um, I think is really going to uh, help explode the usage of the, the user base for this platform that I still think to this day is underrated. We, wow, we, we should, we should make you our, our spokesperson. That it's exactly <laughs> what we're going for is reaching people who thought, uh, it's, it's too much money. You know, we, we, we don't just want people to have a try kick the tires thing. We want to have something functional that people can study with. Mm -hmm. That instructors can say, hey, I'm teaching this class using CML. And by the way, when you go home tonight, you could take this topology, you can practice at home, you could get really comfortable, really familiar with networking. We kind of want CML to be that this is how you learn networking tool that people that people have uh, and make that barrier of inference very low. I think there is something uh, I, before we wrap up Joe, and I, I, I'm pretty sure a lot of our snackers, especially that we talked about CML coming in as part of CCNA as a as kind of a companion to you doing that, getting that hands-on uh, practice for your certification exam. Can you touch a little bit on what's what are the differences, or not really the differences, but why CML versus uh, Packet Tracer? Hey. Just just give our our snackers an idea. They they're both they're both coming from Cisco, right? We 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 they're both our products, but maybe just kind of elaborate and, and and talk about that a little bit for us. So CML is uh, like an evolution of Packet Tracer. Packet Tracer, you can think of like the holodeck in Star Trek. You will eventually hit a wall in terms of what the devices there can support. They're just emulating devices. CML provides real network devices, a full software feature set um, that can also connect to external networks. Um, so there's a lot more capability. There's a lot more feature richness. And of course, with that external connectivity, a lot more you can do with CML. That makes a ton of sense. I actually had that same question, Kareem, so thanks for asking it. <laughs> yeah, figured. Um, uh, Joe, unfortunately, uh, that's all the time we have for today. Before we let you go, are there anything uh, you'd like to wrap up with? Uh, I'm just very curious to, to get everyone's feedback. If you haven't used CML, uh, when that 2.8 release comes out, download it, check it out, uh, and let us know. We really do want uh, to hear from you. And we have a community. There'll be a link in the tool. It takes you to the community page. Give us the feedback. Let us know what we think. And Snackers, you're going to see a lot more tutorials coming out on Cisco U that are going to be attached to that CML3. So um, check out our tutorial section and head over to Cisco U. You'll have a bunch of stuff there for you. Yeah. And uh, one final note before we wrap up. Um, you know, Joe and Kareem and myself, we've been with Cisco for a long time. And, um, you know, we used to have to literally figure out how to get our hands on switches oh, yeah. and routers yeah. to do this kind of stuff. So True story. Uh, for those of you that are new to this, CML is really um, lowering the barrier to entry on this and is really an exciting tool for you all. So um, I can't say enough for it. As Joe said, I could be a, a spokesperson <laughs> all over the place for it. Uh, but thank you, Snackers, for joining. Check out the new CML release. Um, uh, Joe, thank you so much for, for including us. So we can't wait to have you back. Thanks for having and, me. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Thanks, everyone.